Hi everybody, it's Ann Patchett and Sparky Van Devender back again at Parnassus Books. I'm sorry I have been gone. I have a lot, a lot going on, a lot of trips going out into the world, but I'm so glad to be home. And I want to remind you that today is the day that you need to vote. Now, in the great state of Tennessee, one of the reasons why you need to vote is to make sure that we have a state legislature who isn't banning copies of Art Spiegelman's Mouse and isn't trying to make sure that kids are kept safe by keeping pride flags out of the classroom. There are other better ways to keep kids safe. So there you go. That's the end of my public service announcement for the morning. And now we are on to books. I want to say a big shout out congratulations to my friend Meryl Streep, who won the Audi audiobook for the best fiction book and also yay um and also to our friend bono who won audiobook of the year and let me tell you uh bono surrender audiobook of the year fabulous meryl uh, i was gone last week so i didn't get to say how much i love tommy orange wandering stars this was last week but still love that book this week we have ferris by kate DiCamillo. Every single one of us loves this book. It's a fantastic middle grade novel about something so shocking that you never see in literature, a happy, loving, supportive family. We're so proud of you, Fluffy. And another dear friend of mine, Sophie Blackall, has illustrated Force of Nature by Anne Berg, and this is a beautifully illustrated middle grade book about Rachel Carson. You remember Rachel Carson, Silent Spring? She saved us from DDT. Thank you, Rachel Carson. My friend, Andre de Boost III, Ghost Dogs, collection of essays. He is one of my favorite writers and also just one of my favorite people. He is so funny, kind, engaged, and although this doesn't matter at all, desperately handsome. And The Secret Garden. We have a new edition of The Secret Garden that is gorgeous. And this is illustrated by Kate Lewis, who is local. And you can feel it and it has a ribbon and I love books without jackets. And the last one I wanna shout out is by Katie Scott and Tony Kirkham, Arboretum. This is absolutely where I live this kind of gorgeous science-y book. What kid would not want this book? Arboretum, Sparky Arboretum. Okay, Lindsay, what you got? Hello, okay, kicking things off. You might know that I am a RuPaul's Drag Race super fan. I have watched every season since season one, which premiered when I was in college. I'm very young. Um, out today, House of Hidden Meanings by RuPaul, because reading is what? Fundamental! Thank you, class. Um, other great books that are out today. The Great Divide by Christina Henriquez is the Read with Jenna pick. Um, Elise will tell you more about our event on Thursday, but I get to be in conversation with Christina for this beautiful, beautiful Woo! book. This is gorgeous historical fiction surrounding the, the construction of the Panama Canal. It is interwoven narratives. I loved this book so, so much. The Reese pick is Anita de Monte, La Laughs Last by Shotil Gonzalez, who wrote Olga Dies Dreaming, a book that I loved. This one deals with art history, its dual timelines, looking into the life of a forgotten Latina artist. The Good Morning America pick is Listen for the Lie by Amy Tintera. If you are looking for a thriller mystery uh, following a woman who shows up one night, she's covered in her friend's blood, she doesn't remember what happens. And some more. Elise hates when that happens. <laughs> Don't ask Elise what she did Saturday night. Um, another book out today. So I'm a baby author. This is the first book I've ever blurred. <laughs> um, it's The Tower by Flora Carr. I love this book. It follows Mary, Queen of Scots, when she is imprisoned in a Scottish tower. It follows her, but also the three women who she, they're the only people she's allowed to see in this tower. Um, everybody else is her enemy. I love this book so much. It's claustrophobic in the best way. 
Ellen Oyeyemi, who is a wonderful genre-bending literary fiction author who plays on mythology and fables a lot, is out with Parasol Against the Axe, which is a novel in which the city of Prague becomes a character who seems intent on torturing a bachelorette party. Mm -hmm. For mystery readers, we have Tana French, The Hunter. Um, Tana French is the best. She writes beautiful mysteries set in Ireland. I love her. I'm excited about this book. Jennifer Croft is out with her debut novel, The Extinction of Irina Ray. Jennifer Croft is actually a translator. Most notably, she translated Olga Tokarczuk, who was a Nobel Prize winner. And this is her first novel that she is not translating, but writing on her own. But of course, it follows some translators. I am so excited for this novel. And up next, we have Elise. Hi, everyone. I have like a two second get to know me moment, okay, before I get to the events. First of all, This Secret Garden, I was a reluctant reader and I loved this book. This kind of got me in a motion of reading and I am a huge fan of Kate Lewis. And I just want you to see, I mean, the illustrations are so fabulous. And then there's this page that says, let them laugh. Anyway, Kate, great job. This is beautiful for anybody, kids, adults, everyone. I also want to give a shout out to Kate to Camillo Ferris. Look at this, it's just, I'm one of those fortunate people that got to read this before it came out, and I don't know, I just, I loved it. I'm going to read it again. You know why? Because I can. Okay, now for events. Tonight, I'm sorry there are no seats left, but there will be signed copies. Now we have Andrew Marinus. Do we all love Andrew Marinus? Yes, yes we yes. do. So he is going to celebrate many titles. He has Beyond the Game titles, which Rayanne will tell you about. And then this is the 10th anniversary of Strong Inside, Perry Wallace and the Collision of Race and Sports in the South. Anne and I were talking about 10 years, like maybe we thought it was five. We must be having a really good time because that time flew. So he is gonna be here tonight in conversation with the Honorable Freddie O'Connell, the mayor of the city of Nashville. We couldn't be more excited. But again, if you aren't one of those people that have registered and have a seat, be sure and just get some of these books. They will be signed. And then on Wednesday, we have Kennedy Ryan. She's in conversation with Candy Steiner. And this is Before I Let Go. And I think there are a few seats left. You just need, there are no seats left. I see Sarah is saying no seats left. However, okay, so a couple of things. When there are no seats left, I always wanna encourage you, one, to go ahead and get signed copies. And two, get registered early, okay? So always be looking at our website so that you will be one of those people in a seat. And then on Thursday, as Lindsay said, we are really excited. Christina Enriquez, this is a read with Jenna Pick. It is The Great Divide about, it's a novel about the Panama Canal. <clears throat> excuse me, and how Native people were fighting for their homeland. And it's fascinating. And if that's not great enough, again, she's in conversation with the great Lindsay Lynch. So I hope I see you at all of these great events. And now we have the great Ram. Thanks, Elise. Hi, everyone. I am so, so happy because we have a new Kate Camilla novel out today for middle grade readers. And it's the Spark Book Club pick. It's Ferris. It's about a girl named Ferris in the summer. It's about a ghost. It's about a grandmother. It's about her Pinky, her little sister who wants to be an outlaw. You know you want to read it now. This book is so dear. Hope you'll pick up a copy. And Sprout Book Club members, your book is out today, Tiny Wonders by Sally Sawil Han. This is a book about tiny things, flower seeds and wishes. It is about a girl who wants to make her town brighter, and she does it by planting flowers and making friends and making wishes. Another picture book out today, Luigi the Spider Who Wanted to Be a Kitten by Michelle Knudsen, illustrated by Kevin Hawks. Luigi is just a little spider trolling around. He goes into this house where a lady who can't see so well reaches out and pets him and says, I always wanted a kitten. So now he's like being taken care of. He is having, you know, milk tucked in at night, but he's like, I, I'm not being true to myself. What should I do? So cute. Middle grade readers, Paper Dragons by Siobhan 
Siobhan McDermott is out today. This is about a girl who gets the opportunity to train with the immortals in this debut fantasy. Erin Entrada Kelly, Newberry winner, is out with a new book, The First State of Being. This is a boy on the eve of Y2K and a stranger from the future shows up. We have a few tip ins. YA readers, Prom Chanted by Morgan Matson, a girl who gives up her prom, decides to go to Disneyland instead, and steps right into an actual fairy tale. And The No Girlfriend Rule by Kristen Randall. This is about a girl who joins a tabletop role-playing club, but no girlfriends allowed, so she finds her own and maybe finds love. All right, I wanna talk about Andrew Marinus, our friend, and his new nonfiction chapter books, that new series that is starting today. Beyond the Game, Athletes Change the World. This is about superstars on the court, on the field, and also in the world and what they're doing to make our world greater. And his first two books are about LeBron James and Maya Moore. And if that's not enough, the paperback of Inaugural Ballers is out today. So we have four books to celebrate with Andrew today. And next week, YA fans, if you haven't heard, Adam Silvera will be here for the last book in the Infinity Cycle series. Go online, register for that. And we have some more YA and middle grade events coming up this spring. So many great events. Go online and take a look. And if you want to shop for one of these great books, go to the website, parnassusbooks.net slash new dash releases. You'll find them all right there for your shopping pleasure. Thanks for listening and thanks for shopping at parnassusbooks.net.